Who wouldn't drool at the thought of having multiple income streams or making money while you sleep? Welcome back to the JFT channel. I'm so excited to be sharing with you this episode because it will be jam-packed with a lot of insights on how you can grow or how you can level up your financial game that I'm sure will help you with your financial journey. If you watched the previous episode and you've learned a lot of insights about money management, I'm sure that you will like this video so please keep on watching. then building more than one source of income is a lot of work. It was difficult, it was time consuming, and it was expensive. But things have changed thanks to the internet. Everything is so much easier nowadays and it's faster and more affordable to generate more income streams. Before, pag sinabi mong other sources of income, it would usually mean real estate, trading, stocks, forex, and opening new businesses but now there are so many ways to build your empire from the ground up but before we dive into that let me share with you ano ba yung mga benefits or advantages of having more than one source of income number one if your active source of income drops it wouldn't be so hard for you to get yourself back up because you have other sources to help you get by Number two, you can pursue your passion and build on that slowly while most of your time is spent on your most active source of income. Number three, it is easier to reach your financial goals when you have other sources of income apart from your active source of income. Let's say your quarterly goal is to reach 250k in savings or let's say 1 million by the end of the year. It is easier to reach this with more than one source of income but I'm not saying that it is impossible to reach this goal with just one. Later, I'll explain more about that. Now that I've shared the advantages or the benefits of having more than one source of income, now I want to share with you the challenges that you have to expect if you choose to take this route. Number one is that it's difficult to be on top of each and every task that you have to accomplish on each source of income. In other words, you have to learn how to multitask. Why am I saying this? Because realistically, you have to put an effort to each income stream to make them grow and also become profitable. Number two is that the startup process for each income stream can be time and energy consuming. Example, when I started this YouTube channel, I started it from scratch so I had to figure out everything that I would need in order to get this up and running. I started watching videos and also read tips on how to make it a successful venture kahit na maliit pa lang siya. Learning just never stops. Wala naman madali eh. Lahat laging mahirap sa simula. But when you get the hang of it, it will become more and more natural for you. So, kailangan sa simula pa lang, buo yung loob mo sa gagawin mo. Kasi hindi pwede na, napasukin mo isang bagay na half-baked ka or hindi mo, hindi, hindi ka confident enough na kakayanin mo siya. Because it always starts with your mindset. What's nice about this though is that everything is almost always available online. I think you just have to be resourceful and see what you already have para magawa mo siya um, successfully. Naisip ko nun, I have a ring light, I have gadgets, I have my camera, I have my phone, I have uh, this mindset, I have my learnings that I can share with my audience. So I thought, why not um, do this channel for me to also be able to share what I know and to help other people as well. Sayang naman kung hindi ko gagamitin, di ba? Minsan kasi, we always tend to look so far ahead na hindi natin naiisip na nasa everything that we need is just right in front of us and we just really have to utilize them. So, here are my tips. Number one, I always say this, you always have to know your strength and capitalize on your strengths para ma-maximize mo sila. Number two, what do you have right now? Ano yung meron ka na, na hindi mo kailangan gumastos? Because remember, you are building income streams in order for you to earn, not to spend more. So, as much as possible, keep your expenses low, lalo na pag nagsisimula ka pa lang. Now, ano naman yung mga other sources of income that you can do? Number one, nasabi ko na kanina, and lagi ko tong paulit-ulitin because very important ito. And that is for you to utilize your skills and strengths already. 
So if let's say you are good in editing or you think you can learn that skill, master that skill and offer it to other people who might need it. If you're good at designing and content creation, also offer those services to other people. Number two, you can do stocks and trading. Before, lagi ko naririnig, ah, mahirap yun, kailangan um, tutukan mo siya, hindi rin siya madali, ganito siya, and so on and so forth, napakadaming dahilan. And so what I did, I tried uh, looking into it and also attended seminars about it, watched videos about it, in order for me to learn what it is all about. And just like with other businesses, hindi siya madali pero lahat natututunan. So, always apply that growth mindset in whatever you want to do. Kasi if you have that growth mindset, I'm sure that there is no reason for you not to succeed on what you get yourself into. Just like with any other venture, you have to have a game plan for you to succeed here. Hindi ka dapat pumasok into stocks or doing stocks or trading nang wala kang goal or parang wala kang ultimate goal. Otherwise, hindi mo talaga siya maa-achieve. Number three, if you are great in sales, why not build a portfolio of the things that you believe in and actually start marketing it to other people. Once you have that skill, that won't ever be taken away from you and lahat ng products na pwede mong mabenta, mabibenta mo. Number four, if you think you have the charm and charisma, why not build your own personal brand? Number five, I like this a lot because it's a passive income stream. And when you say passive kasi, you don't have to always be working on it for you to earn from it. Examples of which is creating content such as such as ebooks, online courses, coaching, and freelancing na nakikita kong usual ng ginagawa these days because of the digital age na nga. Also, if you have an existing business, creating an expansion out of the business that you already have is easier than creating a new business altogether. If you sell products, you can expand your product line. If you have a service-based system, you can add online courses or books that could complement your services already. And yes, mahirap siya sa simula, but then eventually once you set it up and your market really liked what you created, earnings will just keep on coming in. Now, it is important to choose and set up one income stream at a time. Wag mo naman siyang pagsabay-sabayan because as I've said earlier, it is time and energy consuming to start multiple sources of income. Try to avoid the temptation of jumping from one income stream into the next because doing so will dilute the efforts of you creating and building these sources of income kung wala naman magiging profitable sa kanila. My other tip would be to work on systems and schedules for you to be able to maximize your effort each day na gagawin mo sila. In doing so, you also won't be overwhelmed. Just looking at how this applies to my life, I became not only passionate about the brands and businesses that I built, but also on all the other areas of myself na pwede ko palang mahon and ma-maximize pa. So what I do, I always make use of my skills in order for money to work for me and not the other way around. By doing this, I'm also able to help other people build theirs. Who knows, you can also work together in order for you to build your own dream business. Also, if you want to get started in the beauty industry, I'd be happy to be part of that journey. I'm very passionate about this topic because in school or early in life, we were always made to believe that we should be able to get the highest paying job. Or we were never really taught money management in school. You know what, even if you think that you have the most stable job in the world, becoming dependent on just one source of income is really risky. Sabi nga ni Warren Buffett, di ba? Never put all your eggs in just one basket. No matter how hard you work on your 9 to 5, you will always get the same salary. And with the global pandemic happening, there's never been a better time to start earning money on the side or start building multiple income streams and not rely on just one. Kasi wala nang, hindi, hindi mo alam kung ano yung mangyayari the next day. But again, before diving head on, you should know and accept that building multiple income streams is not easy. Kailangan talaga accept mo na siya on the get-go for you to be able to become successful here. With everything naman, you always have to plan in order to achieve your goals. I said earlier, no matter how hard you work on your 9 to 5, you'll always get the same amount. But with building your multiple income streams, the more that you work hard, especially if you work on your passive income streams, 
the more that you will be rewarded in the long run. Do it consistently until it's more than what your 9 to 5 can give you. For all you know, yung passion mo pala, diba, when you're passionate about something, it doesn't feel like work. So, the effort that you put in is coming from your heart. So, ibang-iba yung output mo when you work on your passion as compared to working on things that you are not necessarily passionate about. I'm not saying na hindi ka dapat magpursige with your active source of income, especially since it's your bread and butter. But what I'm saying is, it might just be a way for you to work on your passions and hobbies and transform them into a really big business for you. Now, what I'm saying is, it's important for you to do this while you can, while you're still young, because you're not always going to be young and strong. So the sooner that you start, the better. When I started this episode, I said, make money while you sleep. So how exactly do you do this? Para ka lang nagtatayo ng business. You set aside money for your first additional source of income. Para siyang puhunan na pinapalaki mo ng pinapalaki. And then once there are earnings or profits from the second source of income, you set aside another money to build another income stream and so on and so forth. Depende sa energy and time na kaya mong mabigay dun sa other sources of income mo. So that's why I'm saying it's better if it's passive because when it's passive, you don't necessarily have to work on it para kumita siya. So, sa simula lang, laging mahirap yung passive pero eventually, it will reward you in the long run and it can also bring your money tenfold. In order for you to be able to do this, my tip would be learn from people that you admire, people that you find that are relatable to you and apply these things for yourself. Stop wasting your time on superficial things and start acting on your goals today. If you've watched my previous episode, I discussed there how you can manage your resources for and also to be able to effectively budget your salary or your most active source of income. So I hope that that helped you and that intro will also help you towards your journey to creating more multiple income streams for you and your family. Thank you so much for watching this episode of Your Ultimate Life. And for the next episode, I'm so excited to share with you another interesting topic, which I'm sure you will also love. And will also be able to help you get yourself further into your journey towards your ultimate life. I'd also invite you to subscribe if you haven't yet and click on the notification bell so you'd be notified whenever I upload new videos on this channel. Don't forget to share your thoughts in the comment section down below and I'll see you guys again on the next one. Bye!